met Orla, Alicia, and our school's called St Killian's College. Orla, tell me about your project. Um, our project is called a cool cool box and it is insulated with the lightest material in the world called aerogel, also known as frozen smoke. Um, it's, uh, it cancels out the three uh, methods of heat transfer, conduction, convection and radiation and we decided to do it to keep uh, children's lunches cold over like because we did a survey in our local primary school and uh, uh, the children said that their lunches were becoming cold by lunchtime. Um, our, all, another aim of our project is to encourage us eating in primary schools. We, did, we try to encourage them by putting a, a eat well plate on the front of the lunchbox. Our, pro, our L, aerogel is a nanomaterial which is tightly compacted um, and it, is very, uh, it covers a, one, cent, one cubic centimetre covers a football pitch. Wow. Uh, we did like several different experiments over the time we've had to do this and uh, the last one we did a, f a few days ago was where we put the, an ice cube inside our an, our actual finished cool cool box and uh, it stayed beneath five degrees for five hours so yeah. What fascinates me is how on earth do you come up with an idea like this? Well our lunch boxes in school we were noticing that they were getting soggy and cold and uh, by lunchtime, and we wanted to try and see if we could fix this problem. So our teachers saw a couple of materials down here at the BT Young Scientist last year, and we try and we researched them and found the best four ones, which are loft insulation, aerogel, and uh, polystyrene and aerogel. We try to uh, we, in we then they made an experiment and found aerogel to be the best. So is this similar to the sort of thing that makes the tiles on the space shuttle, for instance, or is that another material again? Yeah, the pe they do use it in space. It's one of the, because it's so light, it really helps them to use it. It's really good. Um, so then your your outcomes, obviously, you, this is a great success. Yeah, yeah it's like... We, because of all the different experiments, at the start we were wondering because it was so close together with the glass wool, like they were all they were nearly the same. But when we tested it inside our cool cool box, it really made a difference because it was so with the aerogel inside it. Yeah. Tell me, how important do you think it is for students like yourselves to study STEM subjects at school? Uh, it's very important because, first of all, uh, that's what the world is coming to. It, everything's moving on. And we need to like start moving on with it and like, like experiment. And so we think it's very important, and we try to also encourage pupils in our school to take part too. Yeah, um, the because STEM subjects are so popular, and they say that that's where all that you're going to get jobs nowadays from all like not math, like English or anything, math, science is where you're going to get all the jobs from. Well, talking about jobs, then, have any of you any plans to move into STEM-related careers when you leave school? Yeah, I would like to be like. And like an engineer or something like that. Yeah, and I, I like to do something like maybe like a like a pharmacist or something, just something to do with science, that kind of part. Yeah. That's fascinating, girls. Thank you very much for your time and the best of luck. Thank you.